that doesn't wake you up, but I don't know what will. Hey guys, my name's Steve. Uh, I own Northeast Watercross. Uh, this is my 600 mod watercross build uh, from this past season. Uh, this is a, definitely a one of one build that's never been done before. In the process of building it, I reached out to a lot of people just getting opinions and whatnot, and I kind of got the same response from everybody. Uh, and that was, you put a what and a what? And a lot of people are just asking, what exactly is it? What is it? Uh, this past October at the New Hampshire Grass Drags, I won the 600 Pro Drags. It's pretty cool. Um, Sal Mancuso has been winning that for many, many, many years on his 600 drag sled. So to get the win on a not purpose built sled is kind of cool. So there's definitely more potential in the drag game, but that's not really what I was after. Just at that point in time, that's all I really was comfortable doing. So I went for it and took the win. So I think it's proven itself power wise. Um, every dyno is different. This does have high, high dyno numbers, but I'm told D&D's dyno is on the high side. Um, but the proof's in the pudding. It took the win and it's won multiple times. So I think the sled's proven itself. So now that it's done that, I've got more what is it questions. So what is it? Say 2017 Axis Pro RMK. Uh, starting from the back, I got a 151 crossover track wrapped it around a next tech carbon skid you can visit them at carbonslide.com uh i am so stoked i went this route one is just badass on uh, it is light it is very light i did have fox floats in it before those are very new to me and uh, the people involved in this sled and i couldn't quite get them to exactly where i wanted um, so we ended up back with the walker evans stock shocks for now uh, moving on sick 139 design wrap oh I got uh, some Avid drivers in there also uh, thanks Andy at Avid always hooking it up uh, again 139 designs wrap uh, got a custom aluminum tank uh, makes it much easier draining process super easy just fits real well all the stock fuel pump, everything fits right in. Uh, I sell these, many of you have them. Uh, moving forward, I did a matrix conversion kit to it, which is basically just fitted matrix plastics to the Axis chassis. Uh, before they went out of business, I went with, actually I heard they're back in business now, I'm not sure. Uh, a custom uh, mod helium hood a little bit different than this regular helium hoods no bags no venting uh we did add our own venting not on this hood actually uh but we did add our own venting on uh, other hoods um cna pro Steez alternative impact front end this is their brand new titanium front end again super light Honestly, when I like held it in my hand, I was like, this is going to fold in half the second it touches the ground, but thing hasn't moved an inch. Uh, I do have the lightweight Fox shocks in the front. Awesome. I love them. We get them right where we want them. Uh, what else? I guess moving inside. Uh, I got Patrick's custom clutches. Awesome. I love them. They're great. Um, it's very happy with how both the primary and secondary came out on both my 600 and my 800. Uh, Jaws twin pipes. Take a peek at those. Yes, this sled is a mess right now. It's getting clean today. Jaws twin pipes. A little custom air box in there. Really, it was just a stock air box cut up a little bit and sealed. What is the motor? The motor is a 2021 Polaris race motor out of the Polaris race sleds, the snowcross sleds. Uh, motor was ported by Rob Romeo with Romeo Power Sports. Um, and to, up to now, all tuning's been done by D&D &D Performance. Uh, 
very happy with the results. Obviously, like I said, taking the win and the 600 drags is pretty sick. Um, chassis itself was built by DMR Tech, the infamous Dave Martin. So in a nutshell, that's it. Um, yeah, so pretty happy with the way this thing turned out. Uh, we still got some more tuning to do. Uh, we finished it very late in the season. Uh, get it back just in time for some testing at Flat Rock. Um, and decided to only do drags in Epping. Pete Kasakis did oval it at Nottingham. And uh, the, only re the only response I got from that whole race, as it wasn't quite where we wanted it, was from another pro racer, uh, but it was fucking fast and he was behind it the whole time. <laughs> so again, pretty happy with the way it turned out. Still got a ways to go, but uh, we're gonna switch this thing over to snow and go play with some snow drags and hoping I can get it on a hill for a hill climb. Uh, I heard that uh, hill climb in Rangeley, Maine was pretty sick. Um, I thought about putting a putting somebody on it at Jackson Hole, but I heard the, and I haven't confirmed this, but I heard the 600 mod class has gone to 650s, which, I mean, that's a totally different ball game. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, maybe I'll throw some videos up of this thing performing on the snow. Have a great day.